Yo, what's up guys? So we're here to showcase off Cauldron of the Old Man. This is a burn troll stall. It's a pretty mean deck to run into, but anyways, uh, we're here with Cauldron of the Old Man. Every single turn, your opponent is going to just take some uh, burn damage or you can heal and Jasmine will actually get you that additional draw. So basically you're getting a free extra draw, especially with some other cards. There's a cheeky card over here, Draw Discharge, um, but unfortunately he did not actually draw into any monsters. But basically the goal of Cauldron of the Old Man is uh, to basically get a bunch of counters on it because every turn you place a counter on it, and then you can just do a bunch of burn damage and you don't even have to remove those counters. It's just however many counters are on it, you can heal for 500 for each counter or burn your opponent for 300 for each counter. So the goal is basically just to deal a bunch of burn damage. Kind of like how you'd wait several turns for, let's say, Wave Motion Cannon. But the downside with Wave Motion Cannon, if your opponent has something to get rid of it, you wait too long to pop that Wave Motion Cannon and your opponent might just stop that Wave Motion Cannon from being able to go off because they just go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, and then we also have the Dimensional Wall over here. Again, this is like a burn... Uh, stall troll deck over here, but yeah, Cauldron Little Man, new card, and again, the nice thing with Cauldron is that you can just start doing damage every single turn, and it gets to become more and more damage every single turn. At this point, we've got three counters on each one, that's going to be uh, 900 damage for each, and then we're going to do another 300 for any time he's taking any additional damage with, of course, Dark Room of Nightmare. Now, we've got a few plays uh, over here, courtesy of Quest Train, thanks for Shoutouts to you. Uh, this is going to be up against the new ninjas. Uh, I'm not sure if any of you guys have really seen them, but the new ninjas, uh, they do have like a new link monster and it has uh, the ability uh, to set a ninja to uh, uh, spell or slash trap, but usually the ninja ninjas are actually good when you can get rid of your opponent's uh, cards, right? You're, you're tributing and uh, getting rid of your opponent's stuff. But in this deck, well, our monsters don't matter really because our win condition uh, isn't really off of that. Now, another really cool uh, thing that you can do in any burn slash stall deck is uh, Child's Play. This card can be really insane because once you have over 10,000 life points, your opponents cannot do... Uh, um, your um, monsters can't be destroyed by battle when you have 10,000 or more. And that's every single time they uh, summon a monster, you're going to heal up. So again, that will work quite well with your Jasmine. And then with Humid Winds, you're going to be able to, of course, add um, a Aroma Monster. So that's going to be really good. Now we see Jasmine, and he goes ahead and Solemn Judgments the Aroma Jar. Um, this card, once it's flipped face up, it can't be destroyed by battle. And then it heals for 500 during each player's end phase. So that would give Jasmine an extra draw basically every single turn. That can count your opponent's turn uh, when, of course, Child's Play is active here. But I'm, I'm showing replays, by the way, guys, without Mystic Mind. Mystic Mind, you activate it and people will quit on you. And on top of that, th this only makes the deck better. Uh, showcasing it off without Mystic Mind because you definitely would want to play Mystic Mind in this because again You're just doing burn damage your uh, monsters don't really matter at all In fact, you're just trying to do some burn damage uh, to your opponent And Lava Golem I still would say it's a good card uh, even if you are going second a lot of times with uh, Mystic Mind variants uh, you want your opponent to go first so you can slap that Mystic Mind uh, Because you know turn one uh, unless of course you have that metaverse uh, you might just get uh, completely destroyed <laughs> Uh, by them setting up a board that can be too powerful with too many negations and that just happens in Yu-Gi-Oh uh, But I feel like uh, the Mystic Mind decks They they usually try to play around that Mystic Mind really hard because if they use all of their outs and some decks Especially with like Sekka's Light. They just don't have an out. But again um, at this point He's not gonna be able to do too much. He's gonna go to transformation and uh, He's gonna go ahead and take that Roma draw, but it doesn't matter because we've got four counters on of course Cauldron and again that's going to be able to heal him for 2,000 life points, which would put him really close to Child's Play uh, in effect. And I mean, look at the amount of card advantage we got. I know ninjas aren't the most meta of things, but this is going to be a slower deck in the first place. Um, this is up against the new Hakai's. Watch how good Chain Energy and Remember how this card... I was talking about this card, Gingerbread House. It's actually kind of, kind of good in here. So remember, guys, every single time this guy wants to do anything, Chain Energy is an insanely good card. In fact, uh, this card... It has so much potential when uh, they use like Destruid or something. But anyways, Chain Energy makes it so anytime your opponent uh, does anything, they have to pay 500 life points 
uh, per card to normal summon, special summon, set, or activate cards from his or her respective hand. So basically, whenever they do anything, that's 1,000 damage. And then on top of that, if he doesn't get OTK, Gingerbread House is going to go ahead and wipe the board the next turn. And on top of that, he's going to go ahead and get 500 life points for each destroyed monster. So that's kind of cool over there. And it, and surprisingly, it does work with Lava Loan, which is kind of cool. It's just something I didn't know about. So he goes ahead and he hits him up with that Ring of Destruction. Um, the Kai's are all about using your opponent's stuff as link, uh, as, uh, link material. But in this case, well, it doesn't matter because we're not going to have any monsters here. Because it's like a, a burn deck. Um, so anyways, Chain Energy, he's going to go ahead and actually have to pay 8,000. But he's giving him Lava Golem. And this is what's kind of cool. So Lava Golem will actually trigger its effect, and then Gingerbread Hat will also activate its effect. And at this point, guys, he can't even set a card. If he was to do anything, <laughs> he actually loses. I'm not even kidding. Because, uh, yeah, uh, to even set a uh, special summon set or activate any cards, uh, he just would take burn damage. I don't know what he was thinking at this point. Like, he just, he, at this point, he, like, can't do anything. Um, he's going to go ahead and get wrecked by the Hanawa. <laughs> this is just so mean over here. Uh, this, this this duel over here uh, doesn't have uh, the old man, but it's just to show you that like you can play without old man. Uh, but ideally, you'd want to see that card turn one. So now that you guys have seen it in action, I want to give a lot of suggestions for this deck. But thanks, Quest Train, for sending it in. I think you can make this deck a lot better. So uh, first off, we have uh, Hally on the Time Lord. So this one, uh, it's uh, where is it? I'm controlling you. Uh, if this uh, at the end of the battle phase, if this card battle, if you're uh, Life points is lower than your opponent's, so you have to inflict damage to your opponent's equal to the difference. Um, there's another Time Lord, there, there's several Time Lord uh, Lord uh, cards over here. Um, I think either the one where you get to uh, burn them for, where is it? Uh, there's uh, the one where you get to half your opponent's life points. I think this is an excellent card because this one is great early. Um, and I would say late. There's one that does uh, the 2k, uh, this one This one gets to do the 2k damage. So, like, you can mix in the Time Lords and make this a lot better. Another suggestion is Magical Cylinder could be good instead of Dimension Wall. That will uh, keep your Jasmine alive for one turn if you wanted to continuously play Jasmine. I think that this deck can definitely function without this. Um, I know with this you're able to technically heal, uh, and then you can maybe utilize it. But I think that you should definitely be playing Mystic Mine. Um, there's also this card, uh, which we didn't get to really see, but you get to, uh, during each of your standby phases, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to the number of face-up continuous spell cards on the field times 300. This could definitely be an okay card as well. It almost kind of reminds me of a Dark Room of Nightmare, um, and I feel like you could probably drop both of these. I know this card technically makes the deck a little bit faster, but if you're trying to play a burn deck in 2019, you really need Mystic Mind, but I wanted to showcase it off uh, as it was originally sent into me, and I think Nightmare Will is just too old of a card. Same with Marshmallow, like, like, yeah, they attack and maybe they can take a thousand damage, but I think that the game has gotten too too fast for you to really utilize some of these cards. And if and uh, what was that? Oh gosh, hold on, let me go back real quick. Um, this card over here, I he he did use it, and this card has a little bit of potential. So it makes so uh, if your opponent draws a card because of their effect, uh, they reveal the cards that they drew or draw. And if there's any monsters, you get to inflict damage to your opponent equal to the total of attack of those monsters, and then banish all revealed cards. This card's insanely good. I mean, you could potentially hit your opponent for like 4,000 points of damage, and then they banish those cards. So it basically stops the uh, draw power, if you will. But I think if you're really looking to stop draw power, Ash is usually like the go-to card. But like I said, I want to make this deck a little bit more meta, uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and do some editing here. Um, this card can definitely be still great uh, early game, especially if uh, you can Lava Golem. Like, if your opponent makes an insanely good turn one board, uh, you would just get rid of the cards that would negate your evenly match, and then you follow up with the evenly match, and it could be really good. Um, the Refuge, it's okay. I think that there are uh, ways where you can run cards that you don't have to draw turn one, because drawing this card uh, when your opponent goes first is pretty bad. I, I just generally don't like it. I mean, I've played lots of uh, burn variants where I've seen them play this, and if they don't open up with it, uh, it just kind of becomes a dead card. So I think you have better options, again, with uh, some of the Time Lords if, uh, if you want to just have another, like, uh, summon... Uh, I know it does work quite well with Jasmine, but I, I would drop the Aura Mage engine completely. Uh, but I just wanted to mention, oh, uh, Ring Destruction is okay. Uh, destruction, because uh, it can get rid of any problematic cards that uh, you kind of run into. I think this card, especially in the Burn deck, uh, you're gonna, you could activate this card earlier on uh, if you want to, or just, again, get rid of any problematic card that would uh, ruin you. This card, I, I like it a lot. Uh, if you're able to stall a little bit better, because, uh, yeah, it can pop everything, and it's really dirty to do that. Or you could run any of the um, 
mirror force variants uh, that would, well, it doesn't have to be like mirror force, but anything, you can move them to a defense bone, you can bounce them back to. But I think overall, there's just better options. Cauldron Element, obviously, we got to play multiple copies of. Uh, I don't know if I would necessarily say you really need Hanawada. Um, and Dimension Wall, again, I think Cylinder just, I know Cylinder does have that like downside of targeting. Uh, but at this point, we're, we, we've really cut the core of the deck. Uh, but again, I, I feel like we can make this deck so much better here. Um, one excellent example would be any of the... Uh, oh, what is it? Uh, th this could be an excellent choice. You can also run uh, Metaverse. I would definitely recommend Mystic Mine. Uh, but again, I, I showed off replays without it because that's how he, he built it. I think Mystic Mine and then uh, Lilith definitely want that. And then there's another one where it's like... Uh, uh, when your opponent, so, opponent special, uh, it's a spell card. It's like a demise. Uh, you can activate it. Like some of these cards are super, super important. Um, there's also if you really wanted to stall um, with other like back rows that could technically stall. There is. Uh, I've seen people use this. I don't think that this is like super necessary. Uh, but I think this could be a great little start for some of you guys, maybe. Um, also, if you wanted to, you could maybe throw in, like, Just Desserts or Drama Trio. Those could be other options. Uh, also, if you're playing this, you definitely want some draw power, which is the next thing I wanted to get into. Uh, which is, like, uh, Demise. Because uh, you could basically go through most of your cards. Oh, wait, for, yeah, for the Time Lord, instead of uh, doing, like, the difference... Oh, let's, let's remove that. Um, I think Demise would be an excellent uh, card in this deck. Uh, you could run Demise... Uh, any of these, uh, you could throw in your extra deck, throw in extravagance, desires, uh, duality, you're not going to be special summoning too much. But this could be a great start uh, for some of you guys, if you guys were interested in playing uh, any type of a burn variant deck. I think this would be great. Oh, that last thing would be like terraforming. Um, I mean, you might not need three copies of Demise, but I think Metaverse is all overall better. But again, this could be a card that might get hit. Uh, but, like, this would be, like, a great little start for a burn deck. And then, uh, as far as the extract, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, but, uh, yeah, this could be a great start for a burn slash troll deck. And, again, like, the... Uh, you could also throw in wave motion if you want to. Uh, wait, is, is it wave dash motion? Yeah, some of, the, some of the cards. Yeah, like, wave motion cannon could be excellent, too. Uh, so, basically, what it allows you to do is... Um, Get, get a bunch of damage in, and then it gets stronger and stronger without having to worry. Because, again, I, I definitely, I've seen a lot of times where people get too greedy with Wave Motion. They want to hit you for the 8,000 damage. Uh, because sometimes you, you activate it too early, and I totally understand. You're like, I could have gained him. I just waited one more turn to do another 1,000. But sometimes you can't be too greedy with this card. And, uh, again, if you want to run any of the Time Lords... Uh, oh, ten, Time Lords are not spells. Uh, so, yeah. Any of the uh, Time Lords, uh, I think the, the the most excellent choices would be uh, probably uh, Sadion as well as uh, Mykion. Uh, both of these would be excellent choices. And maybe just like a 1-1 one, because one, you don't want to uh, draw into them, of course, uh, with your uh, Demise or just have too many cards you can't use. But anyways, there it is. Uh, a new variant of a Burn slash Troll deck, Cauldron of the Old Man 2019 Burn variant. But uh, anyways, if you guys want to make any other suggestions for this build, feel free to go ahead and do so, but it's just like a rough little uh, suggestion here. But, uh, we definitely got to see it in action. Really cool stuff. Chain Energy. If you go first, dude, and you open up two Chain Energy, it could be really dirty, uh, to be honest. I don't know. Sometimes I, I just want to max out on this card, but it's another one of those cards where you got to have it going first. Uh, this card, obviously it takes a while to get this card going and stuff, but um, anyways, yeah. Um, let me know your thoughts, guys, on the Cauldron of the Old Man 2019. Uh, so far, I haven't seen any, like, FTK variants, but uh, who knows? Maybe someone will try to figure out a way to just put a bunch of counters on this and just, boom, <laughs> one-shot their opponent. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, drop a like on it. And thanks again, Question, for sending in the uh, replay. If you guys got any other cool builds of this, I, again, I want to see an FTK with this. I, I just can't think of any ways uh, to do it yet, but once it comes out, I will definitely showcase it all because I'm sure someone will figure out how to put uh, 20, uh, to, uh, like 20, 30 counters on this and just boom. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the vid. And if you're new here and you want to see more crazy Yu-Gi-Oh content, burn and troll stuff, hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell, and definitely see more. Thanks for watching, and peace.